Hey guys, this is uh, Alex. Uh, I just finished installing a fresh copy of uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, and um, uh, I was having some issues with some mods, so I reset the whole game and deleted the folder. So I downloaded it again from uh, um, this. Uh, who's this? Um, from Steam and um, I just finished downloading the game again uh, so uh, this video is just to show you guys how to how to install um, this add-on that makes the game looks look uh, better uh, it's called Ice Lancer 2.1 and uh, it makes the game very enjoyable to play. Uh, also, I'm going to be installing uh, LCPD FRC95, uh, I believe. It's a mod that lets you play a cop and you can pull people over. You have a lot of fun with it. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So, if you guys have GTA 4 for the computer, you're going to be able to. Uh, be a cop and uh, have fun you can beat people up you can just pull them over give them ticket do chases uh, I actually already made a few videos on my channel but I don't talk on those videos it's just me playing uh, you know it's just some adventure games that I within the game that I was able to pull people over and stuff so anyways I'm gonna show you how to do this so since I already downloaded the game again from Steam, uh, I'll just go ahead and um, I, I actually already downloaded uh, Ice Hanser 2.1. Um, pretty much, you just go to this website, IceLagLace.com. I'm gonna I'm gonna be posting the links um, below the, the this video, and I'm also gonna be posting the um, LCPD first response 0 0.955 RC2 uh, the downloaded link is here this is the actual website www.lcpdfr.com I'm going to post a link underneath the video as well and um, so once you download the actual um here let me see, let's go to downloads like i said i've already downloaded it so once you download it you find the folder and actually wait let me show you something let me go to the website again this is a little it's really easy to understand it tells you available in the gaming section on the website when you download it so you just click on gaming then you go to Grand Theft Auto 4 you click on the actual picture then it tells you download you click on download you need you need both of this you need the uh, configuration tool so you click on it here to download it and you also need the actual software for Ice Hanser. So you click on download. It's gonna download the file. I already have it on my computer, so I'm not gonna click on it. But pretty much, once you've done that, um, oops, you find it. Okay, Ice Hanser. This is the actual tool, and this is the uh, this is the actual software that you have to install. So pretty much, what you do. It's mine is the 1.0, 1.07.0 version. So uh, this includes a readme file that tells you how to do this. I actually already know how to do it, so I'm gonna show you guys. But pretty much the instructions are here. It's very easy. So I'm gonna close that out. You you wanna open two folders. Let me make this smaller. You wanna open two folders. You wanna open your GTA main folder. you want to have your GTA main folder since I downloaded from Steam 
it's going to be different it's going to be on your if you have a 64-bit computer it's going to be on your program files times 86 steam steam apps common grand theft auto and then gta 4 so pretty much all it is is main files is what you want and you click on all these files what you would want to do is you want to copy them oh by the way in order for this to work properly make sure that you do not install anything else so the only thing you want is the game as soon as you install the game you want to install this next before you install anything else otherwise it's gonna look weird so what you do is you move this you select this folder these files and you move them over just like here and you just move them and then what you want to do is you want to move this fold um, you want to move this folder too you also want to move this one you want to move this one and that, this is the tricky part PC you click on PC and then you start with data and then you want to move this all these files here so you want to go to PC data and then you select this file so as you see here main files PC data and then PC data so you, what you want to do is you want to highlight this you want to move them over it's going to ask you to replace them you just click on do not do this for the next four conflicts so you want to do copy and replace and then you move back to the other folder you want to do textures and then you go back select textures and you select highlight these two move them over you want to copy and replace you want to go back and then you want to do common data visual settings so you want to go back to the uh, GTA folder common uh, data common data and then visual settings you want to highlight it and you want to move it over and you want to replace it and then you want to let's see shaders I actually don't use this so I'm not gonna touch it I'm not gonna bother if you guys want to you can read the instructions optional presets I don't, I don't mess with this uh, as well so I just want to use that and that's it you're done you've already uh, successfully installed ice sensor 2.1 so let's go in the game without installing the uh, police mod and then I'm gonna show you how to install the police mod but first let's go check out the game how it looks so I'm gonna go ahead and open the game I'm going to speed things up so I'll come back to once um, I have the game up so this is how the game looks like um, I'm right now I'm actually playing at full graphics um, as you can see here uh, let me see so this is how the game looks like um, this is inside your apartment look how bright everything looks his jacket the game doesn't look like this at all if you played it for the PC so when you go outside you can see the jacket looks a lot more with more texture the stores and oh, you can see everything around okay so I've installed this successfully and everything looks good I don't see any anything bad uh, with the roads the street let me go somewhere else let me steal this car and let's see what happens sorry lady let's see let's go somewhere else let me make sure everything works fine and let's drive over here let's make a left and let's look at the city look at this car okay 
time so we're gonna go ahead and park over here and let's see okay so let's go back to the uh, installing the uh, LCPDFR mod okay so let's download let's go BDFR's first response with this site um, you want to click on download and then you agree and download it just tells you about the game you click download again a couple of times Oh, here you gotta enter this. Make sure that the system wants to make sure that you're not a bot and you're not just downloading this for the hell of it. So you just type these words and you don't have to click enter or anything. You just click download file. I already downloaded the file, um, so I'm not gonna click on download again. Um, let me go back to let me open the folder again. Let's go to downloads for this the system will do it automatically you don't have to do anything with folders it's very easy so all you gotta do is click on once you download it, you're gonna see this icon here um, so you just run it as administrator okay it's gonna extract the files you click on next uh, you, this is very important most likely most of you guys are everything's gonna be checked here but sometimes you're gonna have to download it um, one of these things won't be uh, won't have a check mark for me it was the .NET framework for full profile I had I, you can actually download that from the Microsoft website you just Google search for whatever is missing and once you install that you'll be able to successfully go to move on to the next option it's telling me that the installation folder cannot be automatically detected please set it manually the reason why this happens is because this was downloaded from Steam I don't actually have the I don't have the actual disk therefore um, I have to do it manually so what we do is we browse through the folders in computer C drive program files 86 and then we find steam steam apps and then common uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 GTA 4 and then you click OK and then you click next it's gonna tell you to do um, everything here don't touch anything so you just click on next uh, for this callouts I normally disable this because I, I don't um, these are like little missions that you can do within the game if you like you can leave it on I disable them so you just click on next and then uh, this is uh, lcpdfr.com login information this is to record everything all your study, uh, statistics online and everything I don't like doing this so I just click on next so it's really up to you if you want to do it and next and as you can see it does every, everything manually so you just click on next again and you're done it has finished installing so all you gotta do again is go back in the, into the game so let me reopen the game again and I'll see you guys uh, in the game and I'll show you how to access and everything um, LCPDFR Okay, so we're logging into the game. So we're logging into the game. Start. Okay, so once you're in the game, uh, to activate the uh, LCPDFR mod for police, you press Alt P, so hold Alt and then P, 
and it's just gonna say welcome to LCPDFR drive to the nearest police station to go on duty so we got to go to the police station and I'm gonna have to steal a car to get there fast So I'm gonna steal this car and take the back. Gonna chase me. And as you can see there, that's a police station. And you can see a red circle. Uh, you just get out quick right here. And get on the circle real quick. There you go. So so once you're inside you run straight on actually here let's do this first this door here if you are under 18 don't don't recommend you to come to this door anyways so but this is what happens yeah they're having fun yeah, I want his job. So let's go back. So to activate, actually, to for you to go on duty, you just go through this door. It's gonna reload. Now you're a cop. Actually, here you select. If you press left, you change. If you want to be white, black, whatever. Yes, different type of cops, but my favorite is always this one. Actually, I passed it. Let's go back. Okay, so I want to be this cop. So you press enter. So now you're a cop, you just go again straight to the red circle. Now it's going to be time for you to choose a police uh, patrol car. And you do that by uh, click, um, pressing on the right arrow on your keyboard. Let's go ahead and choose. This so you press enter. And now you are a police officer. So let's back up. Let's see if we can pull somebody over. Lights. It can take a long time. Yes. Oh, let's pull somebody over. Let's pull this. Once you turn your tires on, you press Pull the over uh, now. Shift you have keyboard. been warned. Okay. 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 Now I want you to exit the vehicle. You exit your car by pressing E, and he wants to run. He run. He's running. Anyways, I'm not gonna chase him. I'm just gonna end the video. Uh, if you guys have questions, um, please leave me a comment. And I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Uh, if not, you can also send me a message. And, uh, I'll be glad to assist you on how to install all this. Alright, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.